worst job in the world. What did you just do? I'm, I put wax and polish. Yeah, but before that. What's that you've got down here? That's where it was tied. That's where it was tied. <laughs> All right, here we go again. The latest update. Um, so, sweetheart, have you got any updates for this week? What's I been was, I was busy. I was cleaning the hull and um, I polished it. It was a very difficult job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She put a lot of effort. It was exhausted. She put a lot of effort into that. I suppose the big news this week is that Clive arrived, so that's good. And suddenly we know what we're talking about in the language that the people talk here. Yeah. So that's been a big help. Um, we're he speaks good French, yeah? Perfect French, yeah. Mm -hmm. So then the other big thing this week was we had to choose a water maker, which was a big decision backwards and forwards to the shop with measuring measurements and would it fit here, would it fit there? There's not a lot of space in that two floor. Um, but anyway, we've got Didier, who's an electrician, he's putting it in. And he had a nightmare day on Friday. Nightmare day. You're trying to find a place to put this uh, water maker. And for some reason, the water doesn't come in when you open the sea cogs, which he'd never seen before. So basically, after one day of work of Didier, we're back to the same place as we were when he arrived on Friday morning. But hopeful of a solution next week. We've got a few little things to do, chart plotter, some extra powdery things that we need to get. I think that's about it, isn't it? You good COVID. Oh, we got, I, I think I got COVID. <laughs> uh, that was that was a tough. <sighs> the biggest disadvantage is I I still don't feel taste. It's very really strange. I feel sweet or salty taste, but not specific. I can't enjoy my favorite eclairs. <laughs> For me, basically nothing. And uh, what else happened? I think that was about it, wasn't it? Well, what? I've decided that it's not necessary, it's not cast in stone, is that we should leave in about a week's time. Yeah. Because the boat's basically ready to go. And the, the work that we need to do, we can do in Panama. Um, there's a rigging inspection this week, which could change that. We hope this week. We need to get some divers down to clean the hull and uh, do a couple of things there. And other than that, it's just picking up bits and pieces from the shops. And uh, yeah. And we found how to switch on anchor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Despite the fact we've got, a, <laughs> despite the fact we've got an expert skipper here, he's trying, <laughs> he's trying to see how much anchor tune we've got, and he could not switch on this bloody windlass. And we're up there at the front thinking it's too tight, taking off the anchor chain, an hour or two hours, and then later on we discover you have to turn the engine on to get the windlass to work. That's my advice. So much for the expert. Uh, yeah, it was the Russian <laughs> torpedo engineer that comes up with that. Anyway, we're well. I hope everyone back home's well. And uh, yeah, never a dull moment here, though. It's busy. Yeah, we're, we're doing a lot of work. So uh, enjoyable. Learning something new every day. And uh, yeah. Hope you're Quite all exciting. well. Exciting. Bye. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> video diary, so it's Monday morning. And just the latest uh, that's happened. So it was looking like we were going to have to go for a haul out, which is okay. Night delay us, but uh, you know, to get through holes for the water maker. And there's a couple of other little jobs that could be done. Um, but the day arrived and he was just having another little look. And the great news is he found another through hole underneath the. Uh, the sink in the power head. So this is majorly good news and uh, 
fingers crossed we can get the water maker installed now without a haul out. Clive drilling a hole in the boat. <laughs> I think we should have stayed and had some pies. How many steps did we make already? Oh, yeah. I told you last time, never again. <sighs> you, you are the same. Yeah. How do you feel? I love you, honey. <laughs> I love you, Daniel. But never make me do this again. Okay, we video update in black and white because Alina doesn't have her makeup on. <laughs> so, what's, what's happened this week? What's happened this week, honey? Good things? Disasters. Not big disasters. Mm. No, no, it's, it, was, it was looking good. We got water making installed, which was a great triumph. Um, Didier was fantastic, the electrician. He did... Uh, we found out the bow thruster wasn't working, he fixed that the same day. A um, few solar panel, solar controllers, and uh, but then I suppose the big thing was we went to the riggers who had been to inspect on the Wednesday. So we went to the riggers on Friday, they pulled the boat apart, <laughs> and then they discovered they didn't have the part. So now we're stuck on the riggers area, which is like a favela with, mosqu with mosquitoes. And um, now we're waiting for the part. And we don't have much faith in these riggers because they seem a bit roughshod. What about Russian guys? Well, we wait? The Russian guys were waiting for three weeks next to us. But um, yeah, hopefully it arrives tomorrow, if not Thursday. We're getting our COVID test Thursday, Thursday morning. Hoping that's enough, hoping we're not cutting it too tight. St. Lucia have given us special permission to anchor there the night without checking in, which means we can get to St. Vincent and the Grenadines um, with our COVID pass. And, uh, yeah, it's been, it's, it's been real yacht life this week, you know, waiting. Yeah, waiting. In exotic places with not a huge amount to do because we've pretty much done everything. So the, the good news is the boat's ready to sail. We were getting a bit tetchy yesterday, I think. Yeah, about just waiting, waiting, waiting. But today we're fine, are we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, anyway, we're ever hopeful that this week, instead of last week, we should have been in St. Vincent by now, but uh, maybe, just maybe by Sunday, we'll be, by Friday we'll be on our way, all going well, and uh, yes, and we're getting driven mad by mosquitoes. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay though. Eh? Could be worse. But we bought, we bought finally uh, the net. Yeah, we just bought some mosquito net <laughs> and a bit of barbecue stuff. So we're we're pretty much ready to go. All's well. I hope everyone back wherever you are as well. And uh, we look forward to the next one being better news. Yeah, I hope next uh, video will be from 
Grenadines. From the Grenadines, from another location other than Mart nice Martinique. <laughs> we know everything about Martinique. Yeah, we've been everywhere. We climbed to the oh, we, volcano. Uh, I know, we climbed the volcano, so we're time to do that. And we've seen a few nice things. It's a nice place. It's just, uh, we've been here for a long time. What are you doing? Except making noise. That moved a couple of millimetres there. <laughs> I can see by your grease mark. You will lose uh, one kilo, darling. Yeah, but look, it's definitely made a difference. There they believe. The final piece. There they believe. So I thought this is just a one that's not going to go on YouTube because <laughs> it's just more of a diary entry. Well, today is the day we actually get out, and um, I'm so happy. I really get boring in this place, you know. Um, I'm not wildly confident in these rigging guys. You know the way they rig that back stay over the over the push bit rather than underneath it. So like basic stuff, you know. And um, they've just been a bit slap dash. The boat's a mess. Anyway, hope. <laughs> I think I've been convinced to spend money I didn't have to spend as well. Um, but today at least we'll get some sailing done and uh, yeah, looking forward to it, a bit nervous. Clive so far has been pretty good, but he's, he's got for some funny worry, especially when he's been drinking, that he could maybe be a little bit strange. He's, he's, a, he's a little bit strange in many ways, but and I'm not so convinced he's that experienced a sailor. But it could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. He definitely enjoys working. He's a good cook, and uh, he's just got some strange views on the world, I think, in terms of women, young women, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, still kind of worry that he's going to disappear in uh, Panama, feel lovesick for this Thai girl and then head off, but we'll see. Sometimes gets a wee bit exasperated at us, I think, you know, with our, oh, let's go. Uh, yeah, so far it's really good. Like, we're running late, but it, it really, we're, I guess, we're ahead of what we could expect to be ahead, uh, if you're honest. Anyway, I'm looking forward to today. We'll see what happens. Getting ready to go. The last minute coaching. Mosquito Cove. Bye bye, Mosquito Cove. Let's hope we don't come back. Like this, tell me. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, good. 
In Sweden, you can just sail using the compass. Yeah, but then it was there. I wasn't going to It's hard to see with it in the air, but I don't get any more than that. This way. Right. A little bit to the right. I can jump to the water. Do you want me to go to work? Huh? Uh, great success! <laughs> 